So let's take a look at the arithmetic of fractions. And again, the important rule to keep in mind is arithmetic is bookkeeping. So the basic rule of arithmetic, arithmetic is bookkeeping. So what you're trying to do is to keep track of how many of which units. And if you keep this in mind, then all of the operations that we do with fractions are essentially identical to the arithmetic of the whole numbers. And you already know how to do arithmetic with the whole numbers. And I'll emphasize this already know how to do arithmetic means that you understand the basis of the arithmetic with the whole numbers and not that you are able to push things around on paper. Pushing digits around on paper is not understanding. Uh, understanding is being able to recognize what you're actually doing and how it relates to this process of bookkeeping how many of which units. So for example, take this sum 15 and 3 fifths plus 7 and 4 fifths. And so arithmetic is bookkeeping, so we first want to identify what units we have. And so we'll set up a place value chart. Since we already know how to handle whole numbers, uh, this mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. So I'll deal with all of the whole numbers as a single thing. So our place value chart, our units are going to be numbers. That would be our 15 and our 7. And our fractions, these are fifths. And so our units for the fractions are going to be fifths. And what do we have? Well, we're adding, so we want to combine 15 and 3 fifths, there's our first term, together with 7 and 4 fifths, so there's our 7 and our 4 fifths, and we're adding, so we want to combine them. So what do I have here? I have 15 plus 7, I have 22 numbers, and I have 3 and 4, I have 7 fifths, and so my sum is 22 and 7 fifths. Well, I'm not quite done because when we do arithmetic, we do have this final bundle and trade we often have to deal with. So because my units are fifths, I know that five is going to get me one. So I do want to bundle that seven. There's seven fifths there, and I can take that apart. That's five and two. I can trade five fifths, get me one more. I'll go ahead and combine these. I have 22 and one. I have 20 three numbers, and then my final answer, 23 and 2 fifths, and I do want to write my final answer in the same form it was given. So because my numbers were originally given as mixed numbers, I do want to write a final answer as a mixed number. Subtraction is no different. We are still doing the same thing. We want to subtract 35 minus 12 and 2 ninths. So here our units are going to be numbers and ninths. So I'll go ahead and set down my place value chart. It's a subtraction problem. So I can rephrase this as a from something remove something problem. So from 35, I'm going to remove 12 and 2 ninths. So this is the amount I'm removing, 12 and 2 ninths. I want to remove 12 from 35, not a problem, but I do want to remove 2 ninths from, I have nothing here, so I have to do something to address that problem. And so I'll unbundle. So I'm going to take that 35, I'm going to break it up a little bit, so there's still 35, but now I'm going to trade that 1 away, 1 becomes 9. And now I have 12, I can remove from 34. 2, I can remove from 9, and what do I have left? 22, 7, and finally I want to summarize this in the same form that the question was asked in. This is 22 and 7 ninths, so I'm going to write that as 22 and 7 ninths. Multiplication is essentially the same process. And since this is a multiplication problem, we're going to do something completely and totally different from everything else we've ever done with, no, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We'll set up our place value chart. And so remember, this is saying that I'm going to have six copies of this two and three quarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two and three fourths, there's my place value chart, and I want to multiply that by six. So I'm going to take six sets, so that's six twos, well, I know what that is, and six Six threes, well, I know how much that is. And so what's my answer? 12 and 18 fourths. Well, I don't really want to say 18 fourths because I can always bundle and trade. And so here I have a whole mess of fourths and I'm going to look for sets of four. So that 18, I'll split off a set of four, another set of four, another set of four, another set of four, and I can trade each of these for one more unit. So there's a one, two, 
3, and 4, and I'll do that consolidation. I have 12 and a whole bunch of 1s, that's actually 16 over here, and then my final answer, 16 and 2 fourths. Again, I can write it in this form. Those of you who remember your rules of fractions know that this 2 fourths can be reduced still further. Those of you who understand the rules of fractions know that it doesn't really make a difference if you reduce it. There is no particular importance to simplifying fractions other than it makes them easier to write.